Hello guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm sitting over here um, guilty. I am munching on some um, Hershey Kisses that um, my mom gave me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so I'm being, being bad over here. Um, okay, so if you did not get your, here's my mouse, my, your text notification that I was going live, um, you can text me at the number scrolling on the bottom of the screen and get on my text notification list. So if you did not get notified, you can do that. If you are joining us, please hop in, pop in and say hello um, and tell me what's going on today. Hello, Nancy and Laura and Roxana. How are y'all doing? Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so we're painting one of the new designs. Um, I put a little like question. I didn't do a poll because polls on Facebook. I wish you could put pictures on polls. Um, at least I don't think you can. I don't see a way to do it. Um, hey, Brenda, how are you? So um, that's not helpful. Like Facebook, if you're listening, please enable us to put like pictures on polls so that we can um, like ask people, what do you want to see and like put multiple pictures? I don't think you can even put a picture like in the top and then like ask. So anyway, I just said, um, which designs, which of the new designs do y'all want to see? So I've been making new designs. My goal, you guys, is to <clears throat> excuse me is to make one new file every day so i probably won't make them each day i'll probably like take one or two days and make a few files but um i've been making a lot of door hangers if you're not a door hanger person don't worry um hello nancy and nikki um so i just love making files for door hangers but i, I also will be making files for um some spring stuff for like other things so comment and tell me if you want like what else you want like do you want um uh tear tray stuff do you want shelf sitters do you want um uh what else uh like tags um I don't know. Just like tell me what else, what other kind of files, like tabletop signs, what else y'all are looking for as far as files go. Like, give me some ideas because my brain goes to door hangers and I love to make door hangers. So that's, um, that's one bad thing is that I just, I don't know. I make too many door hanger files. Probably if you like door hangers, then you'll like my files, hopefully. Um, but anyway, Oh, Nancy, you're the one that ordered the Glowforge. That's so awesome. So exciting. All right, Laura, you're going to need to message me and give me some pictures of guest books. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about the ones where you drop little pieces in the side? Um, I can make those. Those are a little more involved <laughs> to make, but I can make a couple of those. Give me some ideas, maybe like a flower or a bunny or something. Um, but anyway, okay, so I'm going to um, paint this for you guys. And I have an 18 inch shiplap round. And then I have all my pieces cut out. I wanted to show you all. This is funny. So um, I put my painter's tape on here so I could lift it all, you know, out of the laser without it all falling apart. So just to keep my pieces together. So my little, um, my little bottom of the boot, um, which way does this go? One of my bottom of the boot pieces didn't cut all the way through. So I just uh, cut it um, on, an, on, you know, the other sheet where it had like a blank spot. And I don't know what I did, but I guess I didn't like, um, refresh my camera because I cut it on my big laser. And so I cut this little piece of the, I, this is what I have in my hand, this little piece of the boot out. But look, y'all, I cut it right here. Do y'all see like it cut, whoops, it cut like right along. See how close that is next to that letter, but it didn't cut into the letter. Like it literally cut like right next to it. I was like, oh my gosh, seriously, I would have had to cut that whole word again. But thankfully it cut, it, that's so strange. It just cut right up next to it. So um, here, let me paint my backer first. <clears throat> this is all quarter inch wood, but um, you can cut your attachments out of eighth inch. I just don't have enough eighth inch wood right now. And I don't, I don't want to cut them out of MDF. Like I always make door hangers out of wood because MDF, um, you don't want it to get wet. So um, I don't know if y'all do, do y'all do door hangers out of MDF ever? Like the attachments? I don't. But um, I also didn't feel like getting the um, the backing off of the MDF. This paint is not open, but maybe it's the only one I have. All right. So this is, I'm going to mix some, some blues here. 
This is Whispering Turquoise by Deco Art. I said I was not going to use my fingernails as tools because I keep breaking them. I keep chipping my fingernail polish, but here I am doing it again. Because I can't ever get these off. Hey, at least they put the color on the lid because the color, see that? They don't put the color on the lid on all the Deco Art anymore. And I really need it to be on the lid. <clears throat> Y'all, I get a frog in my throat every time I go live. I don't know what the deal is. Um, tear tray, table signs, sitters, exchangeable, rattan items, Easter, summer, ginger, ginger girl. Roxana, tell me what ginger girl is. Ginger girl land gnomes. I'm not sure what ginger girl is. Fences, interchangeable fences. I don't want to do interchangeable fences because I feel like I would be um, stepping on uh, who does those, who does those. I don't, I can do, I can come up with something else spring that's interchangeable, but I don't want to do fences because Tanya, those are kind of Tanya's thing with uh, Lucky Heart. I have a terrible time keeping my paint from going onto the sides of my pieces. Jennifer, you just need to use, probably use less paint. All right, I need to mix a bunch of paint up for this. I'm not putting enough paint on here. Okay, I'm mixing Sea Breeze and Whispering Turquoise because I want this color in, that I have in my head. And um, um, yeah, let, me, let me do this. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud, y'all. Fourth of July and spring, interchangeable signs. Okay, so like interchangeable tabletop signs, gotcha. Okay, so we are mixing. We probably do not have enough paint. I don't know. I have this color in my head, and I don't have this color. Nothing looks like this color. I think this is kind of it. I think I need a little bit more of this one. A lot more of that one. I think all I'm doing is making a lighter sea breeze color. That's okay. Normally I do my backers with sponges, but since I already have paint on this brush from mixing this up, I'm just going to go ahead and, and blob it on here. Okay, so here's the deal, y'all. As promised, um, this file comes with both the 18-inch shiplap round. Okay, the shiplap lines are optional. You can always tell your machine to ignore them. And it also has the holes at the top for hanging. You can also tell your machine to ignore those. If you don't like to do your holes with your laser, that is a personal preference. I do like to do that because I use wire. Um, I also in the file gave you though, if you're like a, um, if you're a Glowforge or like just a smaller laser person and you, um, Uh, can't cut the big, you know, the big rounds for door hangers, then I gave you the option of the shiplap backer that has the attachment on the back of it. So you cut it in pieces and then you have the thing that attaches to the back, which is like a, a puzzle piece thing so that you can piece it together and you can make a full size door hanger with a Glowforge basic. Okay. So that is included in all, like I'm going to start including that in all my door hanger files. So all the new door hanger files that I just added, which are 30% off this week, not, not this week, sorry, they're 30% off today and tomorrow. Um, all the door, all the spring door hanger files, you have to use code spring door 30. Um, it's the link is in this video description and so is the coupon code. Um, but anyway, I just made a bunch of new spring door hanger files and they all include the option to cut it in pieces. Okay. This was a bad call because now I'm going to need to mix up more paint and it'll never look exactly the same color. That always happens to me. I, I always think I'm going to need less paint. Now I'm going to need to go get more sea breeze because this is my favorite color and I'm using it all up. I love some sea breeze and this is going to need two coats. Probably it looks better in person as usual. It looks like it definitely needs two coats on the camera. 
Hey, Tammy and Joyce and Brenda. Who did I not say hi to? Jennifer. Um, oh, Jennifer, you said you keep your, you're trying to keep your paint from going over the sides. I had that problem when I first started painting door hangers, but I just kind of, I go the other direction when I get to the edge. I just kind of do this. I get it all over my table though. It is all over my table. But like I said, I usually do, um, I can't talk today, y'all. What was I going to say? Did y'all see that TikTok where the lady was like, she just kept losing her train of thought? Um, I thought, that's me when I try to paint. I can't paint and talk at the same time. Why do I go live and paint then? That is just, because <laughs> I'm like, squirrel, what's going on? And then if any of my family walks in the front door while I'm painting, because I my painting room is, um, my craft room is right here in the dining room. I took over the dining room so they can see me when they walk in the front door and that like totally distracts me. And then I lose whatever I was doing. I don't know. Um, anyway, <laughs> back to the file, this, you have the option of having, of cutting a solid backer if you have a big laser. Okay. And that, that can cut an 18 inch round but you also have the option of cutting it in pieces. Now, if you like to order your 18 inch rounds instead of cutting them yourself, um, I have packages that I put together in my Etsy shop that are I'm doing right now. And this is the best deal, honestly, for this wood. I have my 18 inch rounds are maple. They're quarter inch maple. You get the choice of shiplap lines, no shiplap lines, and you get the choice of the hanging holes that I will put in for you. Okay, right now I'm selling five rounds, packs of five, with the option for the holes. You can either do the smooth ones, five of them for $30. You can do the shiplap ones, five of them for $45 free shipping. Okay. So that link is also in the video description. So that's a really good deal on rounds. So if you're looking for rounds, I have a great deal on them. So, and I'm getting them out probably quicker right now than I normally would. The normal turnaround time in the um, listing, because this January and February are slower months for selling door hanger blanks. At least for me, they are. They are my slower months. So I can, I don't have nearly as many cutouts. So I can get them done more quickly. So if you need them. Oh, no, she didn't win a Glowforge. <clears throat> she purchased one. Um. But you'll still, Nancy, you'll still love the plus because you can cut out so many things with the plus and then you can just go buy the bigger pieces. Or you can cut the ones, like I said, you can cut them where you can do the slats and do the attachment on the back. <clears throat> All right, I'm just kind of doing a light second coat on here. I don't want a complete... Um, like really thick coat because I want to be able to see the weathered looking shiplap lines. Okay. I'm going to toss that plate. I don't think I need that color anymore. And I used up the whole plate. All right. I actually have an egg carton for my paint. Normally my egg cartons that I get from the store are cardboard, but I actually got a um, styrofoam one the other day. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Tammy says, I know that sound. Did I make a sale on Etsy? Yes, you're hearing it from my iPad. My iPad is right here. It, that is the Etsy cha-ching sound. That's so funny that you heard that. I usually try to turn like all those sounds off, but that didn't happen. Um, okay, we're going to do, we're going to do the welcome spring first. It's so funny because I've been selling on Etsy for 10 years and that noise, as thankful as I am for every single sale, I'm so used to that noise that it's kind of like white noise to me. So like my girlfriends and I'll get together for um, 
for book night or for just getting together and like watching movies and stuff like that. And every time the thing makes a noise, they're like, oh, cha-ching, cha-ching. It's so funny. They know. Okay. The welcome is going to be done in black. Um, so let's see. Let's just do black chalk paint. Nope, that's brown. Let's do this black deco art paint. Get my egg crate out or egg carton out. Oh, I'm spilling. I'm spilling my Seabreeze paint over here, y'all. Let me get a baby wipe. I'm spilling paint, making a mess. So tell me what's going on today. Is it cold where you are? It's very cold where I am. It's supposed to warm up later this week. Sorry, I had to get that paint out before it got on everything. It is <clears throat> very, very cold outside. It's sunny though. So I'm glad the sun is shining. All right, what kind of, let's see what I want to use on this. I think I'm going to use a little, what am I, going to use? I think I'll use a little makeup sponge. Get my bag of sponges out. I'm just dabbing this on, just an easy way to get paint on. Of course, I'm getting it all over my fingers. I can feel I'm making a big mess. I like this deco art black. It's nice. It's like it has the the nice coverage like black chalk paint does. But it comes in a squirt bottle and I like a squirt bottle of paint much better than a one with a lid. Just makes life a little easier for these types of projects. Okay. Windy in Oklahoma, <clears throat> sunny in 65. Oh, Roxanna, I would take 65, girl. I would love that. It's supposed to be, what did I see, 50 tomorrow? See, I'm getting, I don't even know why I bother to paint my nails. I'm just making a big old mess, getting paint all over. Um, Brenda, the sequins in my Amazon shop, do I get a lot of each color? I do, yeah. I get packs. Um, of each color. I like to, when I do sequins, I like to um, have like variations of the same color because I feel like it just really brightens up the project. So like, instead of just putting like purple in, I'll, I'll get packs that have like a lot of variations of um, the colors. Oh, thank you. Whoever said they like my shirt. Thank you, Joyce. It reminds me of like Alabama. It's got that, isn't this Alabama? Like that has the houndstooth kind of pattern, aren't they? Isn't that their thing? I'm looking for some, some spring paint colors here. All right, so we've got Deco Art Wild Orchid. I'm thinking how I wanna do this though. Do I wanna do this with paint pens? I think I actually want to take it out. I'm going to take these letters out. Okay. Did I have everything? Yeah, I got everything. Okay. 
Okay, so you could use paint pens for these if you want to. I think I'm just going to use a small brush, a small angled brush. So this is Wild Orchid, and I'm going to do the S and the G in the Wild Orchid. Um, what blues do you like using for background of your door hangers? So I actually, my a lot of my door hangers are white on the background or stained. But for this one, I mixed up a couple different blues. Um, I don't know. I don't have like a set color. I definitely go to that sea breeze color a lot for blue. But it, that's more of a blue green. But I just sometimes when I go to Hobby Lobby, if I'm low on paint, y'all, I'm really bad. I will just stand there and just start throwing deco art paints in my cart because I cannot pick. I love I love their paint and I just, I can't pick. So I just end up with a cart full of like all different colors. So if you hit a sale on their paint, I would stock up. You can also do the, um, the paint sample tubs from like Home Depot and Lowe's. Those are good for paint and door hangers or for paint and anything really. I have a bunch of those too. I just don't pull those out very often because like I said, I like paint and squirt bottles. It's just, I like that better. It just makes it easier to work with. Um, is it on sale this week at Hobby Lobby, Joyce? That's good to know. I got to make a trip over there. Get some more sea breeze. All right, this um, is Carousel Pink, another one of my favorite spring colors. For the P. That one's going to need two coats. Oh, the paint's on sale for 30% off. Oh, that's awesome. That's good to know. All right. And then we've got Jack-O-Lantern Orange. Just need a little bit of that. They're expanding their warehouses. Oh, okay. Okay. I can wander around Hobby Lobby for hours. I love it. Oh, I'm not I'm not going in the same order as my picture. That's okay. No big deal. All right. We've got bright yellow. I don't know why this brush I think I might have to toss that brush that brush that brush is kind of messed up I think I let the paint dry on there a little too long you can also clean up your edges with a um, black sharpie <clears throat> I like a brush tip sharpie to clean my edges up and that really helps And we need a blue color that is different from the backer. So let's see. <clears throat> Maybe let's do Indian turquoise. I think that'll be pretty. Mm, actually, that might be a little too close to the backer color. All right, let's add... Or let's do Laguna instead. I think the Laguna is clogged. Where's my little safety pin? So 
So is anybody, <clears throat> we always talk about TV shows when I'm painting. Is anybody um, watching anything good on TV right now? Has Have y'all seen The Last Man on Earth? Okay, so let me just tell you, my husband started watching this show and I was not into it. I was like, what is this? This is so ridiculous. Like, this is so stupid. You know, I cannot watch this nonsense. And then I got into it. I don't know why, but I just got into it. And he turned it on yesterday and I was like, wait, do not turn that on until I'm sitting down when I can listen to it and pay attention because I'm in the kitchen. I mean, I can see the TV from the kitchen, but I needed to like, you know, I needed to see what was happening. So anyway, I don't know. I just, it grew on me and now I'm a fan. So it's really dumb, but it's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Katie, give it a, give it a shot because I was quick to judge. And then I was like, okay, this is actually kind of funny. I think once they started adding a few more people to it, I, that's when it became a little bit more interesting. And now the lady is in it from, um, I don't know her name. She's been in a lot of shows. I should know her name by now. The actress, um, gosh, I don't know where to even begin telling you what she played in. She's, um, <clears throat> she's got dark hair. She played, um, the mother on parenthood years ago. If you ever saw the movie parenthood, she played Steve Martin's wife. Um, she played doc Brown's wife in back to the future three and she's probably played in like a ton of other things but those are the two that come to mind so anyway she's in it now and i think she's funny but i don't know it's so it's so dumb it's it's good and there's a movie coming out that I kind of feel that way about too. That looks like it's so, it's so stupid that it might be actually entertaining. The one, um, what is the name of it? With Sandra Bullock and, uh, Channing Tatum, Tate, Tatum, Channing Tatum. Is that his name? Tatum Channing? Channing Tatum, I believe. Anyway, um, that just shows my age. <sighs> He's too young for me, right? Um, it's got Brad Pitt in it. He's not too young for me. Just saying. Um, <laughs> uh, who else is in it? I can't remember. But that movie, it looked so stupid that it might just be fun. You know, it's like, oh, we need to go see this. This looks pretty entertaining. I need to get IMDb. Oh, <laughs> that is so funny. Mary Steenbergen. Okay. Yeah. Is that her name? You're watching Inventing Anna. I'm not sure about that. I think I might have seen... Okay, so somebody else is saying, somebody else is saying Bonnie Hunt, Mary Steenbergen and Bonnie Hunt. The name of the show is The Last Man on Earth. So I don't, I don't know which of those actresses it is, but yeah. Oh, let me pop this middle of this O out of here. Okay, so there's our letters. I'm trying not to touch my table with my shirt because I need to wear an apron because I'm ruining shirts, getting paint on them. Hashtag boob problem, right, y'all? <laughs> Lost City, yes. That's the name of the movie. The show we were talking about was The Last Man on Earth. That's the show. I need a little bit more yellow on that. I, but I'll get there in a minute. Okay, so now let's get to our uh, the majority of our pieces here. We have lots of pieces to paint, and I'll show you how this all goes together. So everything is scored, which makes it super easy. Now, it's not scored on the backer, but it is scored, like everything is scored on the pieces. I, I am starting to put more score lines on, um, uh-oh, did that cut? That was not supposed to cut. That was supposed to score. I think, now I'm losing my mind. Hold on, let me check. Let me check on this. Maybe I had my um, score turned up too dark. Let me see what I did. All right, we're going to pop these out of here. Figure this out. All 
and then that didn't cut all the way, but I had I have another one that I cut. Okay, so this no, that's okay. All right, that goes up there. This is our buckle, goes there. All right, so we've got these flowers. We have these flowers. This goes on here like that, so it's like layered. This one, this gets layered on here like that. So you have the score lines to show where you layer it. Now, here's the problem. These, <clears throat> these were not supposed to cut. They were supposed to score. So I might need to run out. I don't know how I accidentally did that. All right, so let's see. Hold on. We've got these two pieces, so we need these pieces here we need to redo. Okay. All right, so that's no big deal. We're gonna redo that. I will check the file and make sure that that's right in the file. I think that was a mistake I made with my laser. Like I think I may have hit a button or something right before I hit cut. So I will fix that. Um, I watched the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. It's a must see. Ooh, is that one creepy? I'm gonna have to see that. Okay, um, Really quick, can you guys hold on while I recut these? Because I can't cut them on my Glowforge because I don't have my Glowforge powered up, but I have my big laser powered up. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. Give me just a minute. I can cut this really, really quick, or at least let me set it up to cut. So hang tight. All right, if y'all can hear me, I'm coming. Let me see if I did this right. It's so weird because I know what I did and it's not a file issue. Okay, thank y'all for hanging with me. Y'all probably think I'm crazy. So oddly enough, I had my score set to score twice and it because it, it did it twice, it was like enough power that it cut through it. And I don't know how I did that. So anyway, that is how that goes. So those flowers go like that. So the score lines are there, 
so you can see where to put the little insides, but it just makes your flowers like three dimensional. Um, okay. What did I miss? <laughs> um, that Kristen Bell show is so funny, not scary. It was so wild. I just kept saying, what the heck? Okay. What Kristen Bell show are we talking about? Is that the one that you're talking about that, that we were talking about the last man on earth? I don't think that's Kristen Bell though. Y'all comment and let me know. Okay. Anyway, back to the painting, back to the painting. Let's do really quick. Let me do another coat of yellow on that, on that eye up there. Cause that just keeps catching my, catching my eye. Thank y'all for letting me go cut that again really quick. That is really strange. Okay, there we go. Now, while I have yellow on my paintbrush though, we can do, let's do this. This flower, where's the single flower? The single flower goes over here. Okay, so we're gonna do this flower here in the yellow. So the lines are on here so that you can see where your paint colors go as well. I should have done white underneath that yellow. I always forget. Always do white under your yellow. What else do I need to do yellow? I think that's it. Okay. Let's do the black on our boots and get that done. And I think I'm going to... No, I think I'm just going to use a paintbrush. I'm just going to do a paintbrush. Can't see my picture. Do y'all have the problem of your paintbrushes coming apart? Now it's getting water all down in it. It might be because I left it sitting in water too long. That one it has come apart. Let's get a new one. Now I can still see my buckle through here to know where to put it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can still see my score lines through the paint. There's one boot. Um, the girl in the house. You tape your brushes with fun duct tape. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, I'll have to do a little paintbrush repair. They make fun duct tape. Is it is it wide or is it like a more narrow duct tape? I might have to get some of that. I have fun washi tape, but I don't have any fun duct tape. Alrighty, there is our second boot. Let's see. And we'll do our grass. Let's see. Make sure I'm not missing any of y'all's comments. 
All right, so for our graphs, we're going to do a little bit of hazard left green. And maybe mix this up with a little bit of, what is this? Green tree. Just for a little variation. I think I might like my um, paper plate better than this egg crate. Or maybe I need to just take the top off of the egg crate. I think that's what I need to do. I think that will... It's taking up too much space. There we go. That is going to work much better. All right, let's mix this up and see what we got. Yeah, that's more of like a spring green, I feel like. I don't know. All right, let's see what this looks like. Yep, I think that's good. And then we can just do like some accents on there to bring in a little variation in color. Does anybody else love putting your pieces together like a puzzle? That's like my favorite part. And you get all your stuff painted and you start to put it all together. Oh, you cut it down? Oh my gosh. You go to a lot of trouble for your duct tape. <laughs> I bet your paintbrushes are really cute though. Um, I need a black paint pen. Or do I? Do I need a black paint pen? Should I do that black? Maybe I'll do the whole thing in pink. Let me see. Let me see what that looks like. And if I don't like it, then I'll just cover it up with black. This is why I paint my stuff in Procreate before I paint it for real. Because I'm just... I like to see what it's going to look like. Oops, not that piece. This piece. Oh, so um, if you guys are regular viewers, guess what's not going to happen today? At least I don't think it's going to happen. My upper camera is not going to go out today. So strange. Normally my, um, my overhead camera goes out 45 minutes in, which we probably have already reached 45 minutes in, I think. But it, um, I, have my, <clears throat> I have my phone switched today. So the overhead one is actually my phone phone. And my other one is up here for my time lapse because that one wasn't charged enough to use overhead. So I had to switch them. Okay, I'm going to do the bottom of my boots in the pink as well. I think that'll be like a little cute pop of color. I'm at 38 minutes. Laura, were you waiting? That's so funny. So it, it shouldn't do it today. <clears throat> I don't think it will at least. We'll see.
So um, the poll that I did, it's not really a poll, but when I asked which uh, files you guys wanted me to paint, this one was one of the top ones. Um, and the other two that I think were the most popular were the, um, the Easter Bunny one that had the uh, rainbow and the, East, the, the bunny ears on the top of it. And then um, it was a close call between a few others because I asked in like three different places on Facebook and Instagram. Um, but all right, let me think. This one is going to be pink here. Um, but I think the other one was the St. Patrick's Day one with the rainbow. And the shamrock and the pot of gold. Okay. Is there anything else pink? I don't think so. I'll just do a quick second coat. And this one is supposed to be pink as well. All right, so the um, the second layer of the flowers is going to be like a shade lighter than the background flower, if that makes sense. I passed the 45 minute mark. Oh, you lied 49 minutes. And then Stacy said her says 50 now. Okay. So yeah, I guess it's not happening today. My phone doesn't do it. I don't know why my other camera does. It's very strange. All right. We need purple on this flower. And this single flower here is purple. Can you see? This purple is really good coverage. This is, um, oh, my, my watch is like, time to stand. This is Wild Orchid. It's a really good purple. Um, okay, so those are the only two. So what do we need now? We need orange uh, and blue. Yep, orange and blue. Let me do another coat of this yellow. Oh, y'all, can some can y'all give me some ideas? Give me some ideas for tonight. Sometimes, so I'm hosting, my friends are coming over tonight. I can't complete a sentence. Let's start over. My friends are coming over tonight, two of my friends, who uh, we get together once a week and we watch our shows. We're watching This Is Us. That's the show we're on now. Um, we also watch A Million Little Things. But they're, they're very behind on that show. I'm actually further ahead on that one because I was watching it before they started watching it. Um, anyway, my point is that we are getting together and I need some food ideas. So I need like a last minute. I, I can run to the store, but I need like a last minute, like, I don't know, dips or... You know what? I'm going to paint white underneath this. 
where's my, oh, there it is. Um, underneath this orange flower, because this orange is really not a good orange. This is Deco Art Jack-O-Lantern, and I don't know if I got a bad bottle or if it's just that color, but it, um, I'm looking at my picture over here, but it's not very good coverage. So let me do white. And I'm actually, I'm probably going to go ahead, even though I've done two coats of this yellow, I might do a coat of white and then go back to yellow. Whoops. Because um, I think that's going to brighten up my yellow. So anyway, we did, um, we've done chicken salad chick. Um, one of my friends got some different types of chicken salad last week and some of their grapes with their like, they do grapes with um, some kind of yogurt sauce and cinnamon on them. And they are so good. Have y'all ever had those? Um, we did subs one time. We did wings. You A lot of times we just do like dips and appetizers and stuff. But I need like ideas for something quick to pull together. So give me your food ideas. Ooh, cowboy caviar. That sounds good. Yeah, chicken salad chick. Jennifer, do you have a chicken salad chick where you are? So if anybody is from anywhere near me, y'all will probably be the only ones who know what I'm talking about, but I'm a diehard Ucrops chicken salad girl. Um, Ucrops is a grocery store that we used to have in Richmond. I'm in Virginia. We used to have it in Richmond and their chicken salad is phenomenal. The grocery store no longer exists, but some of their products are sold in other stores um, and their chicken salad is one of them. So I like chicken salad chick. Um, it's really good, but I would just as soon any day have you crops chicken salad. It's amazing. Okay. What do we need? We need blue on the back of there and we need that white to dry. All right, so I'm gonna do the same blue as that N up there. So that was Laguna. I think I still have some Laguna in the pot. You're getting a chicken salad chick. Oh, Jennifer, that's right, you're in Goochland. Do you like Ucrops chicken salad? And it cannot be the tarragon, and it cannot be the light. It has to be the white chicken salad. That is my favorite. I'm a big Instacart shopper, and Instacart has tried substituting the other two kinds of chicken salad before. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'll just take nothing. I choose nothing over the chicken salad. <laughs> I'm not picky about a lot of things, but I'm picky about the my chicken salad. All right. And... I need that white to dry. All right, let's start painting the front of some of these flowers. Um, so my plan was to go with a little bit of a lighter shade of these colors, though. All right, hold on. Before I do that, I need these colors to dry so I can use the... Let me turn... I'm trying to, not to get paint on my shirt. I'm turning this fan on over here. Now I'm putting my arm in it. All right, let me get my fan on and get that dry in that white paint. Um, we can do lighter purple though, because the purple is done. So let me add a little bit of white. Where did the white go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> yes, Jennifer, it has to be the original. Now I want to know what that is. I'm in North Central Idaho, so I have to remember to look it up. If I go back east. Yes, look up chicken salad chick. It's good. Um, but if you're ever in Richmond, Virginia, get you some new crops chicken salad at the grocery store because it's awesome. Uh, all right, a little bit of white or a lot of white in the purple. Okay, so I got a cowboy caviar suggestion. Um, does anybody else have any suggestions for food for tonight? I am like drawing a complete blank. I need to come up with some kind of idea. And the problem is like my husband's doing low carb. So I really didn't want to like make something super like carby and sinful. I 
I say my husband's doing it. I'm, I'm supposed to be doing it with him. I'm, I'm just bad. I'm a bad low carver. Um, one more of these is light purple. Um, I'm not 100% low carb. I've gotten better. I cannot give up my carbs completely. Um, okay. What else can we do? We can do the front of the blue one. Which is here. All right. Sorry. This is like throwing my, my brain for a loop here with these colors because there's two layers of each flower. So it's making me like... It's making me confused. It doesn't take much. It does not take much. I'm lightening up my Laguna with some white. That's what I'm over here doing. I want a lighter shade of each color for the front of these flowers. Sorry, I'm trying to stay on camera so y'all can see. And all right, so orange, pink. Can we do lighter pink? Yes, we can do lighter pink. We can add white to the pink because we're done with dark pink. Chips and salsa, hot cheese and bean dip from the local Mexican. Oh, that sounds really good. Jennifer, um, do you guys have a Patron anywhere near you? We have a Patron down the street from me. Oh, I need more pink in here. That was a little too much white. Um, a Patron is the best Mexican. It is so good. I highly recommend the Burrito Tito. It's amazing. Okay, one of these gets painted the light pink. I hope this turns out pretty. I hope this is not a hot mess when I go to put it together. I think it's going to be pretty. It's different from anything I've done, so. All right, so light pink on that one, and then we can, oh, whoops, I put my paintbrush in the water. Not yet. Okay, so light pink on this this flower. All right, there we go. And hopefully this white is dry enough. We can go ahead and put some color on these. Hopefully this will all come together. All right, so this one is yellow. Yes, that yellow is much prettier, much brighter. Oh, me, how do you say it? Yalisco? I think you pronounce the J as a Y, right? Me, Yalisco. That is really good. We have one of those um, not too far from me, too. All right, I'm going to let those dry because they need a second coat. We can do some polka dots on our boots while we're waiting. That's a good thing to do to fill the time here. All right, a little sponge pouncer. 
What size do I need? That's probably a good size. And where's the top to my egg crate? I'm running out of space as usual. Okay, these are going to go together like this. We kind of want the, well, no, we don't want the polka dots to line up. That wouldn't make sense. Let's just keep them separate while we do our polka dots. Because there's two separate shoes. I have a big blob of white paint pouring off the side there. And maybe like one up here. I love doing polka dots. Oh, the fan is making my paint splatter a little bit though. I can touch that up. Alrighty. Cute, cute, cute. Love some polka dots. Let's do another coat on these. Okay, so I'm going to mix a little lighter orange and lighter yellow together. And this will all make sense when I start putting it together. At least I hope it will. <laughs> you want to do your boats, your, your boats, your boots and polka dots? I have to do polka dots on boots. They just, it's like they're screaming for polka dots. Okay. Are we done with painting other than accents? I think we might be. Black paint pen. Touch up where that fan splattered. Y'all probably can't even see that on camera. It's bugging me. 
Alrighty, so um, let's put our stuff together and then we can do accents. I think that'll work out best. We assemble some things first and make some space on this table. All right, so these two, we do this one and this one. And this one goes here. And our little buckle. I love that little buckle on there. That's going to be super cute. Um, all right. And are these dry enough? Hopefully. See how cute they look when they're layered so you can see the color variations. I just think that's so cute. All right, and then the grass, we need some lighter. I'm gonna mix a little white in with my grass green color here. Actually, we'll just bring some green over. y'all see that i'm sorry i'm like I keep forgetting that i need to be on camera all right and then maybe a little black in with the green as well to make a darker green. So let's do this. Oops, I might have put a little bit too much. I always do that. Let's see if we can save it. Let's see if we can. We're just mixing all kinds of things together over here. Without having to get any more paint out. Let's see. Need a little bit. Okay, so that just it kind of gave that grass some variation in color with like a darker and a lighter green. Y'all, I'm no artist, but I just try to do a little something, you know, give it a little something, something. Um, and I think the rest of this, well, let's see. Maybe we can accent the flowers before we attach them. With the black. All right. hmm, how do I want to do this? Maybe like that. Just some swirls.
swirls and dots. And then I'm gonna do some white as well. I'm not getting a ton of paint flow. Let me find a good white. Where's my good white? That was my good white. What the heck? Well. Yeah, there we go. This white is getting on my nerves. Okay. And We want some accents on our letters. Those are probably good. I don't think we need black on those. Sometimes I get carried away with the accents, y'all. I do not claim to be really great at the accents. So I just kind of I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, let's fix it. <laughs> You're late to the party, Kim. You are okay. It's just paint and we can fix it. All right, I didn't love my accents on here, so we're just doing this. We're turning our buckle black is what we're doing. Awesome. <laughs> I'm 
we're gonna have to wait for that buckle to dry and then we're gonna have to paint it pink again it looks like a dirty buckle right now oh lord y'all y'all see all my boo-boos oh i know we can do while we're waiting for that to dry we can clean up some edges but let's also accent our welcome with some white if i can get white coming out of here You do it all the time, Laura. I'm so glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> um, where's my black Sharpie? So we can do some touch-ups. I see one. I see a black Sharpie. All right. So for my edges, I just kind of take this brush tip. Okay, it's a brush tip Sharpie. And I just kind of do this. It's just a quick little... Just like that. Just so when you look at the sign from the side, it looks a little cleaner. I got really sloppy there. Maybe on the grass. That part's going to be touching the boot. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay. That and then these letters we probably need to touch up. It's very satisfying just to kind of really quick just do that and it looks so much cleaner. It reminds me of those, um, those cleaning videos on TikTok. Does anybody ever have those show up on your For You page on TikTok, the cleaning videos where people are like scrubbing something and it just looks brand new? I don't know why that is so satisfying to watch, but it is. And then if you sit there and watch it, then you know that more of them are going to show up on your For You page. It's like, oh, she likes these. Okay, let's show her cleaning videos. And I don't want to watch cleaning videos. That is not what I want to do in my spare time. But I'm going to tell you what, they are very satisfying to watch. It's not going to make me clean more, but still. All right, let's fix... Our boot. We have done something funky to our boot. Let's fix it. How many 
paper towels do I go through in a video? Too many. <laughs> Too many. Y'all, this is getting on my nerves. How many coats of pink is it going to take? i got to get my hair dry. Got to do the hair dryer. All right, I think that's a little better. Okay, let's start putting our stuff together and then we'll see if we need to do any more accents on anything. See how this looks all assembled. Make room for our backer. This down here. Okay. Here is our bright backer. It's very beachy looking, isn't it? I love it. I love the variation in color. I just think it's super cool looking. All right, we want the boots to hang off the edge a little bit, or at least I do. That's how I like my boots. So I designed the signs so that they are meant to hang off just a little bit. Like so. Oops, can you see that? No, I can't see that. Um, this piece goes here. And, ooh, it's so pretty. I'm excited about it. Now, I have to make sure my flowers aren't going to hang off too much, so I might need to move my boots down a little bit. Let's see how this goes. All right, so these flowers, I got to look at my picture, go here. All right, so we might need to move our boots like a little bit here. And then we'll straighten them out if they're crooked. And then um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far, y'all. I think the only thing I would have done is maybe make the backer a little bit lighter. I don't know. What do y'all think? In the picture that I did, it was a little bit lighter. Like that. Okay, so there's our bouquet of flowers. Um, oh, Tammy, thank you. Okay, and then our words. So welcome. You know what? This would also be a really cute Mother's Day sign. So if you didn't want to put welcome spring, you could put happy Mother's Day on here. That would be super cute. Um, you don't want to copy, but love it. Linda, you can paint it however you want. If you guys, when y'all buy my files, if you want to do it just like I do it, I don't care. That's totally fine with me. That's, that is flattering. Y'all can paint it exactly like, I mean, I, I do not have painting skills, you guys. I am better at designing files than I am painting. I've told y'all that before. I just paint them because I know that you guys want to see them painted and it kind of gives you a better idea of what they look like than the digital version. But um, I don't consider myself very good at painting. But I also like to make them because I like to, well, sometimes I give them as gifts if I think they're good enough. I'm very insecure about my art. So sometimes I don't think they're good enough, which just means I end up with a lot of door hangers for my own house. <laughs> okay, so there, there is the finished sign. And then of course we're gonna glue everything down, but I'm not gonna like keep y'all any longer to show you how to glue it down. I'll just do that off camera, but I'm just gonna use my stick fast that I always use and just glue everything down and come up with some ribbon and make a bow. So that is it, you guys. I love it. Um, I'm super excited. So I'll get it all glued down and I'll take a picture of it so you can see and I'll update the listing with the um, the picture. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, well, the door, this door hanger file and all the spring door hanger files are 30% off through tomorrow night. So uh, the link is in the video description and the code is up there too. It's spring door 30. Um, oh, Jennifer says, how about some Chinese to go from Peter Chang at short prompt? Oh, that sounds so good. 
some of the best Chinese. You can get a couple of dishes and let them self-serve. That's an excellent idea. I could DoorDash that, right? So I don't have to drive to Short Pump because that's like 25 minutes for me. That sounds good. Thank you for the suggestion. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I'm glad that it all came together. I was a little concerned because sometimes, you know, my paint goes sideways and, and things don't look like I planned. So anyway, okay, I will um, be live again possibly tomorrow, definitely Thursday, but I'm going to try to go live again tomorrow. I'm going to try to paint three of these signs this week, three of the new ones. So this one, the bunny rainbow one and the the uh, St. Patrick's Day rainbow one with the, um, the, what you call it, pot of gold. So, oh, you're so sweet, Jennifer. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate you hanging with me and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.